Well, it's that time of year again where Target does their fall geek out. And what does that mean for all of us collectors? Well, <laughs> six weeks of just buying a lot of stuff. Now, the good thing is this year, there aren't a lot of things that most of us probably even care about. So today I wanna to talk about what NECA is gonna be bringing in week six of this fall geek out. And if it's anything like last year, oh boy, it's gonna be pricey. As of today, we don't actually know which items are gonna be showing up. So today I wanna to talk about my predictions of what we will see in Target on what date? September 29th, oh boy. And look, of course, this is gonna mean that these items start showing up at least probably two weeks before they're supposed to actually be on the shelf. It might be a good idea to keep an eye out if you're gonna go into your Target because it's always a mess. And I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that these things are gonna be online like they were last year. So Friday comes around, you can just order what you want, get free shipping, don't worry about it. Unless you have a preference to like really nice boxes. My predictions for what is coming this year, I. I I, I don't know if I, what, what even, what order am I even gonna do these in? <laughs> Are they just gonna be random orders? What I think first is that we're gonna see because the pre-orders on these were already up. So right before San Diego Comic-Con, I think, we were able to order, pre-order, the Last Ronin, Raphael, and Karai. So if those two are on pre-orders now, good chance they'll be in targets on that date. The 29th? <laughs> Next up, I think this is, this is probably number one most likely that we will see at the Target Fall Geek Out is the Space Adventure Usagi. Why? Well, not only did the Stan Sakai autographed black and white version already arrive in people's houses that ordered them, I, those, those are weird words to put together. Anyway, <laughs> since those have already been produced in black and white and they are arriving, and this guy looks fantastic by the way, this is another reason why I believe it's, we're gonna see it. We have this incredible box art. It's just fantastic. And, and it's, it stands out from the rest. It doesn't have that cartoon look. It has a comic book feel, but we have the box already. So I think that is the number one most likely item that we will see at Fall Geek Out. Next up, I think we're gonna see the Monster Series. This has been very popular uh, with Fall Geek Out and the Holothon and all the stuff in between with Target. <laughs> I think we will see Raphael as the Wolfman and Leonardo as the creature. And that creature does look fantastic. So even if you're not a turtle fan, I think this one might win you over for horror fans. Something I think is likely, but I'm not totally confident in this one is Baxter Stockman. This is coming from the comic book and it looks fantastic. I love the little computer, love whatever the little device is in his hand. A lot of people are super excited about this thing. It looks fantastic and we gotta continue the comic line. So I think this is uh, pretty likely. Now, something that isn't Turtles that I do think we will see is gonna be Alex Murphy from Robocop. We've got all the pieces on display from San Diego Comic-Con. It looks fantastic. I don't know what else you would change about this thing. My other thought with this is that if for some, you know, if they're gonna release this, then they really need to re-release Robocop. So let's say you walk into Target and you happen to see this Alex Murphy and you're like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that the, this figure existed, but you know, it's not something I personally would own. And then right next to it, you see Robocop. You're more likely to get the Robocop, I think. This is a little bit more of a diehard fan. And if you got both of them there, you're just increasing your odds of a sale. Anyway, I would expect that to happen. And last year at Fall Geek Out, that's when Robocop hit. So it kind of makes sense for Alex to show up. The set that I personally am most excited for, and I think we will see, is the two pack of Space Adventure Donatello and Samurai Adventure Michelangelo. Just in case you didn't know from other videos, these heads are swappable, so all the pieces are swappable. It doesn't have to be Donatello in the suit, it doesn't have to be Michelangelo as a samurai. So of course you could get all your turtle heads and swap them out and get four of each of these things, but they did state that this is supposed to be a two pack. I kind of wish they were individuals because I think more people would want four samurais than they would want four space adventures. But now another one, this is kind of going into the horror fans. This is stuff that Neko really was the most popular for for a long time and this line doesn't get enough love these days is the feral predator from the movie Prey. Now this thing does look pretty good. It's not my favorite item that they've made. The face and the mouth and stuff does look a little weird, but 
I'm sure in person, I'll think it's beautiful. And I'll pick it up, we'll review it. Hopefully the quality behind the Predator line has improved over the years. But I do think that we could very likely see this thing this year. I would be very surprised if we saw the flashback Michelangelo, but I think it is certainly possible. I'm not totally confident that that's an item we'll see this year. Next on the list that is a possibility, this is more of like an honorable mention. I think it certainly has a chance of happening. I don't think it's gonna be there, but I could be totally wrong. It's been a while since we've had the four pack of brothers that were from the tune. So I think we might see the punk turtle set. Now I know a lot of people are super excited about this one. If you're one of those people, let me know. And what is it? that you like about them because they look dumb. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, the reason I also don't think the Punk series is gonna show up is because the Ultimate Turtles that were on display at San Diego Comic-Con for the Toon line, I think those are gonna take that spot. These, This is a line that is gonna be able to get collectors into the Toon series if they missed out on all of the original designs of the Turtles. Because these days it's, it's you know, you're paying scalpers and, and third party prices and stuff. So for them to release these ultimate versions of the Turtles would come with more accessories like the pizza head thing that I guess goes specifically with Raphael. And then of course Donatello with his spinning bow effect, which is super cool and it's gonna be a nice accessory to have in there. But these are kind of important to put back on the shelves and this is a, a set that will be sold as individuals but they could just keep replenishing, just you know, constantly make these things and put them back out. And one huge difference about these that I want people to kind of notice is that there is two-tone paint, which is a bummer, it's real obvious here in Donatello but they remove the shadow from the shell. The edges of the shells normally have a shadow paint. So I hope that those are gone on the production set. And something that I thought for sure would be in a two pack that I guess maybe is not and is just sold as it is in an ultimate form, which is almost like, uh, you know, maybe put this guy in a two pack because you know, the value is usually better. 60 bucks, you get two figures versus 34 to 37 for a single figure. But I think NECA's learned their lesson. Just make as many as you can as singles. And Casey Jones in his business suit is gonna be one that I think they're gonna sell a bunch of. People love Casey Jones. You don't get enough love for, for this guy. And the business suit version, in my opinion, is better than the original. But I hope he can stand better because mine on the shelf up here, never, he has to lean on stuff. Even with the foot peg thing, doesn't work. It's super annoying. But he's gonna come with accessories, this little basket, I guess, and the little cards or paper that's supposed to be. So it's a cool figure. It's got replaceable arms, so you can have him in just the shirt with the tie. It's a cool, it's a cool design and a great opportunity for people that didn't, didn't get the original. <laughs> words are hard and I hate them. Why do I have a channel where I have to use words? Because I'm so stupid. Anyway, that's my prediction, I guess, of the items that we will see and some of the ones that we might see. I hope that is uh, kind of confidence boosting. What do you think that we will have that maybe I didn't talk about or maybe on this list that you feel is 100%. Definitely gonna happen. No question, there's a cat hair. <laughs> let, me know down, let me know down in the comments which one you're most excited for. And did I leave something off this list that you really hope that we'll see? Thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. <laughs>